And um, if you haven't seen the numbers, um, sit down for this one. Yes, no surprise, Americans getting fatter. But a new study uh, that came out this week shows that the ranks of the obese in this country are expected to swell from 36% of the population to 42% by 2030. Now, uh, you know, you've got a body mass index of 30. I think that's basically the, uh, the barometer to get there. But 42% of this country and 2030 is not as far away as it maybe used to be uh, 10, 15 years ago when we were talking about this. The recommendations how to deal with the problem, they run the gamut. The report that gave us those numbers also gave us some recommendations among banning sugary drinks and juice food, junk food at schools, monitoring how much weight pregnant women gain, requiring childcare facilities to make sure kids stay active, uh, restricting the types of foods that can be marketed to kids, and even putting the boss in charge of watching a worker's weight. Um, Andrew's perking up on that one here. Um, the Institute of Medicine also wants an infrastructure change, means building communities that emphasize physical activity like walking. Um, those recommendations made today at a government-led conference on the nation's health, and they got some mixed reviews. All right, let me bring in the table here. And um, uh, listen, I know we've talked about this. You don't like nanny states, people telling people what to do. You like the idea of uh, libertarian freedoms, but... This is a national epidemic here, 42%. Um, and forgetting all the threats to those people's safety, the amount of people, taxpayers are going to have to support the, a growing base here that won't be able literally. to sustain themselves, literally. No, but seriously. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't think it's off the table talking about some really dramatic actions, restricting what foods can be marketed or sold as I, I, crazy I think, and communist as that a, sound. I think that's a valid, a, a valid idea. I think also the idea of, of better labeling on, on yeah. food packaging, uh, labeling at restaurants, and maybe some regulations as to like the healthiness of yep. food that can be sold at Ten places seconds of each, McDonald's. guys. i got to wrap. Who's going to stop the McDonald's lobby? They're too powerful. They're going to keep giving us fast food. And we're going to continue looking like this. Oh, one thing, one bit of kudos I give to the nanny state notion here in New York. We have calories listed. It has saved me from many a gorge. And I'm being serious.